place called Pandir, which is this traditional bread. And I'm going to show you guys. And you guys know I don't eat bread, but today I'm going to cheat and have a little piece. And also, what they bring to the table for traditional breakfast is a piece of butter, a piece of white cheese that kind of looks like feta, organic honey. So everything here is very fresh and organic. It comes from the farms. They yeah? add like a fried eggs with tomatoes, which is a very special breakfast here in Baku, Azerbaijan too. And you guys can meet my friends. You've already met Fidan, I think, in, in Barcelona. Did we have a, I didn't have you in Barcelona. Spain. In Spain, a couple years ago. And that's my cousin, Gulag. Okay. And Alex is always filming. I'll film him after as well. So we're waiting for the food. Oh, she's just warming it up inside. Fidan is going to demonstrate how to eat this tandir bread. Can you show us? So the first okay, thing you first do is what? First of all, we we'll take a bread. And, and then, then you put butter first? A little butter. Put and and what is this thing? Uh, it's, it's, in, uh, it's made from milk. Oh, it's like a, mm, it's like a cream, right? Cream of milk. Yeah, it's a cream of milk. Okay. Everything you can't eat. Yeah, everything like dairy related. <laughs> okay, then and what this is honey. It? It's very popular. So you have a breakfast. On top. Yes. Oh, so first eggs. you put that thing. Probably tastes delicious. And little mm -hmm. spoon of honey. <laughs> <laughs> the bread is very hot. And then you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the famous tomatoes and eggs. My mom used to make this at least three, four times a week. I'm gonna try some. I haven't had some in a while. Usually what they put is just, they crush some tomatoes, they saute them, they put usually butter, and then salt, pepper, and then just add the eggs and scramble everything. It's really good. But the tomatoes has to be organic and clean for the, for the taste to be really good. If you just use supermarket tomatoes, it's not gonna taste good. As beautiful as Baku is, my favorite part in Baku is the old town. I guess because I like old things and I can really appreciate the character and the buildings, the beautiful doors, the streets, the little narrow alleys. I really like all the details in the doors and the old city. They're so different and there's so much character and details. They just don't build things like that anymore and that's why it makes it so much more special. And of course, the cats. There's so many cats in the old city and I just fell in love with all of them and I wanted to take all of them home and we bumped into this girl that saved a cat. The cat was just sitting on top of the door and somebody dropped out this little kitten to her house and she decided to keep it. The kitty was so cute. <laughs> I just couldn't unglue myself from this little tiny creature. It was just so sweet and yeah, I just had so much fun walking around and petting all the cats in the old city. I 
I find the old city so charming and romantic. If you're ever in Baku, you absolutely have to go there, either in the evening or just on a quiet afternoon. Just walk through the alleys. It's such a great experience. <laughs> What I really enjoyed about Baku was just really seeing the mixture of old and new. You know, you have this town that's really old, and at the same time you can see just there in the, sk the skyline these really new modern architecture. So it was really cool to see that. And then me and my friend Fidan took a cab to go and visit our old school. I remember it being so much bigger and more grander, but um, it's just here looking the exact same way. It's just I'm bigger, so it seems a little smaller. Just 10 minutes from my school is where I used to live, so I remember taking these walks every day by myself, you know, going to school and coming back home. And here we are at my old house. As you can see, that's my old balcony. It's so crazy looking at it. It just brings back so many memories and just makes me so emotional because just looking at the balcony, I can remember our old cat Mishka just sitting there and looking out the window and you know, I just got so emotional just thinking about that. I started crying, I couldn't help it. And just all the memories came together. Childhood is such a special, beautiful time that you can't have it back. You just have to appreciate what, what you've had and, and move forward. And this is the inner courtyard of the buildings where I used to live and all the kids every day would get together and we would play and chat and just do silly things and I remember as we would get older one time we planned this huge party and we had a dance right in the middle of the street, you know, we blocked the street, somebody bought music and speakers and we just had a dance here right in the middle of the courtyard. And behind me you can see this beautiful modern museum. I usually don't like modern architecture, but this one is something special because it kind of looks like a spaceship, I think. And today they're having an Andy Warhol exhibition, so I'm really excited to see it. Let's go. like we're in the future. 3010. Scary. <laughs> It's really hot and humid and I'm getting ready to take all these stairs up. All the way up, it's probably 500 stairs. And um, at the point up there, you can see all of Baku and it's spectacular. So wish me luck, because it's really hot and I have no water. <laughs> Let's go. Made it. Now I get to take a picture. So what do you think about this view? I think it's great, I really love it. You can see the whole city of Baku right underneath us. It looks and, unreal. Kinda. Yeah, and the stairs weren't that even that, that high. It wasn't that hard. So. I don't think it was 500 stairs. I yeah. that back. Uh, yeah, and the really cool buildings here as well. So I really like it. It's really cool. On one of my last days in Baku, I decided to have a meetup and meet all the wonderful supporters I have in this beautiful city. So it was just so awesome to get everyone together and just chat and get to meet all of these beautiful ladies. I had so much fun.